Ladies Broncos. I'm Tao. I'm Samantha. And I'm Vivia. And, and this is Bronco TV. TV. It's Wednesday, September 21st. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may now be seated. First up is your East Community News. Scan the QR code on the screen to win the Homecoming Week book giveaway. There will be two winners per grade level and each bag has four to six books, candy, and bookmarks. The Stampede Yearbook Cover Contest ends in just five days and submissions are piling up. Please make sure you're following all the rules and the guidelines for this contest before submitting. Entries that do not follow these will not be moved on to the next round of selection with the Stampede staff. Come out tonight and support East in the homecoming parade with the Toy Story themed float created by your student council. You can arrive at 6 and the parade starts at 6.30. It starts at the West End of Parkway and ends at Cabot High School. Tomorrow is the fourth day of homecoming celebration week. Don't forget to wear your 80s fits. The East Sustainability Club will be meeting this Thursday at 3.40 in the library. All are welcome to attend and join for an exciting meeting. Next up is your Bronco Sports News. Your 8th grade Lady Broncos traveled to Indian Springs last Thursday for their third matchup of the season. All three teams showed up ready to work. Coaches and the East family are very proud of how they're growing each week. C-team players of the game go to Addison Turner and Talia Furler for their playmaking serves and hustle on the court. B-team player of the game goes to Danny Green for her amazing serving and defensive skills on back row. A-team player of the game is Emma Prater for her quick reactions to keeping the ball alive and excellent serving. This Thursday, East travels to take on Trinity Springs in Keller at 5 p.m. Go Lady Broncos! <laughs> There will be a cross-country meet tonight at CMS West starting at 5 p.m. Come out and support your fellow Bronco runners. Today, Today for lunch, we have pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, sweet buttered corn, Caesar salad, assorted fruit, and assorted milk. Welcome to the Taste Test Run. Today we're trying Trix Popcorn! Today's like your tricks and Kettle Corn had a baby. Seven out of ten! Tastes exactly like the cereal, nine out of ten. It tastes like trick cereal with kettle corn in it. 10 out of 10. Um, it kind of tastes like stale cereal with sugar on it. I give it a 5 out of 10. Um, they taste like off-brand Apple Jacks and they're too hard to chew, but still 6 out of 10. It tastes like a popcorn covered with Fruit Loops and honey. Uh, I give it a 6 out of 10. Welcome to tea, no. Taste no. Test no. Speed Run. Today we have apple pie. I'm an Okay. Not someone put this on top of her head. And someone put this on top of her head. Okay. You got to go ahead and take one picture. Let's go ahead and take one Now your apple's going to taste like... Oh, yeah. No, I'll put it. It was just like foul. Oh, foul. It tastes like bread. 10 out of 10. Okay, stop. A big happy birthday to 6th graders Wanya Kazafi and Surya Alwarapan. 7th grader Ali Tenbush and 8th grader Samana Ambati. And that's all we have for you today. But, but don't, don't forget, forget it's a great